today's What's It, I'd like to show you what is the PC-10 pattern controller. Now, if you're familiar with the uh, Silver Reed Studio line, you'll remember that there was this other device that looks very similar. This is the PE-1, um, but if you compare the two, um, what you get with the PC-10 is the uh, little duck buttons here that allow you to modify the pattern, um, either to uh, reverse it, uh, mirror image it, and so forth. These buttons formerly were on the EC1 or on the bed of uh, some of the older electronic machines. And the other difference here uh, that you'll notice is there are no uh, buttons in the center as there are here. These buttons allow you to actually draw the pattern onto the screen, uh, whereas PE1 did not allow you to do that. You had to draw it on the mylar that you read into EC1. So th the thing we really like about this is that it's more compact than the EC1 and uh, PE1 combination. It also doesn't have the loud fan that the EC1 had, so this is silent. And uh, one of the most important advantages to the PC-10 is that it has the ability to use uh, standard compact flash cards. So if we want to draw a pattern on our computer and transfer it over to PC-10, we don't have to use a cord and try to transfer the data that way. We just copy the files onto the compact flash card and load it into the slot on the side like this. What this also allows us to do is to have several cards so that we can have, for example, a card with all of our tuck patterns, a card with all of our fair aisle patterns, and so forth. The files are very small, so you can get a lot of patterns onto one card. And because you can put the compact flash card in your computer, you can also try to read the uh, card contents and figure out whether, you know, which pattern is which if you've forgotten their pattern numbers. So uh, when we turn this on, you're going to see it's very similar to the PE one. Um, basically, when it says OK, hey, he's ready to go. Now we're going to load uh, pattern number 23 and uh, see what that looks like. So this here is telling you is an eight stitch by eight row pattern. And let's see, we tell it we want to knit. This is the pattern we have. And uh, this area here is roughly eight rows. Eight, you see by the darkness, eight stitches across. The dark areas are where the needles will select. The lighter areas are where the needles are not selected. If you wanted to uh, add on to this pattern, or in our case, if you want to add uh, some of the lace knitting instructions, which can't be done on designing it, that's where you go into this draw mode. And the draw mode will allow you to um, either select needles in this area where there are none, or deselect the needles. You can also go into a mode where it allows you to set some of the signals, such as uh, whether it's a lace transfer and knit row, whether it's a transfer only row, or for um, patterns in double bed jacquard, you can also set the symbols to indicate which color uh, you should be knitting with, just to remind you. Now, one thing you'll want to note over here is we do have a lot of uh, stickers all over our PC-10 to remind us what these different symbols are. We sort of wish that this screen were larger and had more uh, word instructions, but in absence of that, we have our instructions here. These are the symbols that will show up over here, and uh, that's how we remember these things. So, you know, the machine is yours. Don't be afraid to add notes that make sense to you. In short, that's what the PC-10 does. We really like ours, um, highly recommend it. It's very easy to use, 
and uh, in particular it's easy to do the patterns if you use design init and then load them up. We're not really sure about these buttons. These are good for very small patterns or to do some quick fixes to a delivered pattern that came with the device, but it's really not that good for uh, building a large fair aisle pattern or, or such. It, for larger patterns or more complicated patterns, you really want to use uh, design in it and then load it up. And as we mentioned before, um, designing it with the lace um, add-on can design lace patterns and do the separations. However, uh, right now the PC10 interface does not add all of the, uh, the directions and the symbols that indicate transfer knit versus transfer only. But we've found that by using the lace add-on, then manually adding those things, um, the printout will tell you what the uh, instructions are. So all you have to do is go in and add the instructions back manually. It's very quick, very easy, and uh, definitely worth a try. So there you go, the PC-10 and what it does.